All right. I got a friend of mine and he wants to know how do you balance the weight out on the truck and not have to go to weight scales and you know cat scales and pay money and stuff like that I never have to do that all right because the truck that I have has a right weight scale in it all right now what you do is when you get loaded all right there's a couple methods that you do all right when you get loaded you slide your tandems all the way back all right when you slide your tandems all the way back and they load you you get a better idea of how heavy the load is all right when you're just using this scale all right so when you use this scale and your tandem just slid all the way back and you see that needle this needle right here it may be far forward right it may be past 34,000 pounds all right but we got our tandem slid all the way back so that's going to be normal because all the pressure of the weight is being on put on the drive axles all right so that's why the pressure is up when we got the tandem slid all the way back so as we get the load and we finish getting loaded what you do is you start sliding the tandems and you watch that needle when you see that needle get around to 34,000 pounds you should be good okay all right so what about if you have a load right and you're not too sure what the tandem axles weigh you don't have a right weight scale on the tandem axles well that's very simple right and I'm gonna show you an example right here here's my bills right here and you can see right here that my total weight is 37,500 pounds to do this trick you got to know what your tractor weighs is empty so you got to know your axle weights far as your drives and your tandems primarily what they weigh you're not so much worried about the steer axle so much uh because you you don't normally go overweight on that you know what i mean unless you're extremely heavy all right so you got to know what your truck weighs empty all right and for instance uh with my truck my drive axles weigh about thirteen thousand uh pounds you know plus or minus i just round down to thirteen thousand all right and uh my tandems uh i'm sorry my trailer axles weigh nine thousand pounds that's empty okay so what you do is now that we know that we know we have two points so what you do is you take this weight here and you divide that by two so 37,500 pounds will be 18,750 pounds okay you would take that weight and you add that to 13,000 pounds so with that added that should put me up around 31,000 pounds all right for the drives and when I take the other half, the 18,750, and add that to the 9,000, that puts me at 27,000 pounds. Okay, so now that I know that, what I would do is I would go right back to my right weight scale and I would slide my tandems to around 31,000 pounds. All right, uh, 31,000 pounds. If I slid there, I'm good. Now, being that the trailer tandems are 27,000 pounds, I got about 4,000 pounds I can work with, anyways. So I can be a little over than 31,000 pounds because on the back uh, trailer tandems, I got 4,000 pounds to play with, all right? Because we legally, by DOT, we can be at 34,000 pounds on the drives and the trailer tandems, all right? So once I slid that in between 34 and 30, there's no way in hell that I'm over on my trailer tandems, all right? Now, this is how you know that you're overweight or maybe they don't put too much weight uh it's like um, kind of offset load they got different products some stuff is heavier than the other some stuff's not uh if you got your trail town slid all the way back and you come to find that you slide them just under the load right you keep one door open and you slide the trailer tandems just under load as, a, as it, where the load ends at all right but you see that the weight is still high and then you keep sliding the tandems to as far forward as they can go, but it's still way overweight. There's one or two things. They got you, they got the heavy product loaded uh, too much on the front. That means they loaded the trailer wrong, or you're overweight. You're over 30, you're over 80,000 pounds gross. All right. And you're going to have to take it back for them to take uh, weight off um, to get you right. Another method that you can do, let's just say you want to go to and get it precisely, you know what I mean, where you can get it precisely, uh, the weight precisely on each uh, axles, you know, the drives and your tandem, 
uh, your trailer tandems. All right, what you do is you go to a cat scale, okay? When you go to the cat scale, you're gonna get the gross weight. All right, of the uh, you're gonna get your gross weight and you're gonna get the weight on your drives and your trailer uh, tandems. What you do is you're not concerned with the growth. Well, you you are concerned with it because you know we got to see be at eighty thousand. That we're not uh, heavier than eighty thousand. Um, what you do is you take your drive weights that they got off the casco and your uh, your your trailer tandem weights. And what you do is you subtract. You take those two numbers and subtract. That's going to tell you uh, the weight right there. You know, let's just say you're over on the drives. That's gonna tell you the weight, all right? Uh, how much weight you over? And what you do is you take that number and you divide that by two points, all right? That's gonna give you another number. Once you get that last number, you divide that number by 350, and that's how much weight you know at roughly let's estimate how much each hole when you slide is about 350 pounds. So you take that number 350 and you divide that you divide that by that last number and that's going to tell you how many holes you slide your tandems and you'll get the weight perfect okay hope this helps somebody out